Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. So we're not gonna waste any time, we're gonna head straight into Treasure Trove Cove. Some of the best music in the game, and probably my uh, most memorable, my most memorable level from the game. So there's a Jinjo right below us here. However, there's gonna be a shark in these waters. So generally what I do is I just jump right in there, and jump right down here and get the Jinjo, and the shark won't catch up to you as long as you're swimming quick. So, there you have that. Other than that, I feel really close to my microphone all of a sudden. Let's see, what we should what should we do first? Let's go over here to this giant ass crab thing. I mean, I don't really. Uh, he's not a crab. He's more like a a snail. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, Crustacean Brain. Grr, cheeky bird needs feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, Shellhead. Okay, so he's gonna nip at you. I mean, he is Nipper. Oh, that was the the right button. Okay, let's retire. The idea is you jump and you press well on the 64 or on the 64 controller it should be B on the On the 360 controller it's S and you can peck him in the eyeballs Both his eyeballs which kind of look like testicles if you think about it before you go inside there though I want to step out back here because there is a mumbo token Which is going to be important. I mean we're gonna need a lot of these throughout th throughout the entire game not all of them but uh, enough of them to which if there's one with an easy grasp, you're going to want to get it if you can. There's a whole bunch of notes in here as well as eggs, some crabs, because we don't have enough crabs in our lives. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at you, Lucajin. I don't even know why I said that. I'm sorry. That was, that was mean. Oh, hey, you bitch. I was right there. I was getting my jiggy and I did my dance. Well, at least you waited for me to do my dance before you before you attacked me, I guess. I guess you're not as much of a bitch as I thought you were. I'll forgive you this time, but next time? Next time, well, I already killed you. So there's really no point in forgiveness. You know what? Never mind. Scratch that. I am not forgiving you for anything. You you can die and live in infamy. Or die and... Die and live in infamy? What the... What the hell am I saying? <laughs> you can't die and live at the same time. And we have some feathers here. Whee! I'm a red feather! I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. And that... You'd learn how right here from bottles. I just wanted to grab those notes, and I'm holding back a cough, so give me a second. <coughs> Man, I swallowed my coke the wrong way. At last! It better be easy, bog eyes. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you, Bottles. However, first, before you do that, you might have heard the, the Jinjo crying. There is a Jinjo right there. And now we can fly off into the Great Abyss. Yes, if you press A, you'll fly higher. We, we, we realize this, Boggy. Thank you for your, thank you for your help. Uh, I'm still fly- No, no, shit, shit! What the hell was that? That was like, everything conspiring against me all at once. Well, this is gonna be one hell of a fail of an episode, I can already tell that. I apologize that we're getting so much fail so quickly. I mean, this is only episode three, and yet we're already falling off of cliffs, not making into treasure boxes, etc. I mean, what? I was totally inside that. Sigh. Okay, either way, this is the... <laughs> this is the lock hole edition of the... of the Jiggy Dance. Uh... The harder still the game will be. Well, I didn't read the beginning of that, but essentially she was like, You stole my treasure, you bitch. Now I'm gonna kill you. That was... <laughs> that was the Cliff Notes version of Grunty's speech. Okay, make it on there. Thank you. I don't want to talk to that hippo right now. That hippo has to be, like, the most... My least favorite character in the entire game series. Like, I don't know, he's just so mopey and can't swim and... Doesn't do anything right and... Murdered his parents and... I mean, he really doesn't have much to live for. He should just kill himself instead of moping around. At least that's my opinion on the matter. Thank you for getting the Heekum Boken without landing. Awesome McPossum-tasticness. What the What the hell? Oh, hey. Let's go out and get that... Get that little empty honeycomb piece before we do anything else. Let's see, can I do it two times in a row? I really suck at flying into things. Just for the record. But it looks like we got it! Hey! Man! I never get this lucky. There's another Mumbo token back there, however, we'll come back for that later. Because first, before we do that, well, there's a Jiggy up here. This is not normally how you're supposed to get it. There's some shock jump pads. Shock jump pads. This is the cave edition of the Jiggy Dance. 
uh, below us that you're supposed to use to get up here, those things. However, uh, apparently I can't be bothered to actually do that. I'd rather just, like, cheat and fly. So, let's see. Can I get to that Jinjo without needing the shot jump? No. Okay. That's okay. We, we can go learn the shot jump right now, actually. So, that, that learning is right up here. If you jump up these boxes, Bog Eyes is right here, and we can learn... We can learn about all about this green pad. From this angle, you'll reach new heights with my shot jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on the shot jump disc and press and hold A. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. How many times are we gonna see that this LP? Nice going, you learned all the, all the Cove's new moves. So, okay, from this angle, I have always thought this pad... Let's see if I can get a close-up on it. I've always... Come on. Thought it looked like a plane. So the left-hand side, like, the the black tip is, like, the nose of the plane with the white. And then there's a little bit of pink in there, and that is the cockpit. And then there's two wings, and then you have the tail section. You can see the, the tail rudder and then the engine in back. I've always thought it looked like a plane. I realize that it's Kazooie's foot, however... I still stand by the, the planiness of it. <coughs> planiness. I really... Oh, no, no, no! Son of a dick! I'm all... Okay, so yeah, if you let go of the A button while you're on the shock jump pad, your jump will cancel. However, what I was trying to do is this, which is as long as you hold on to A, you don't have to land on the shock jump pad the second time. Like, for instance, I can jump like this again, and I'll fly back. It's all about the charge up from the pad. So, that's something useful, especially when you want to cover more distance. Because jumping like this and trying to get over the Jinjo is a lot more difficult than jumping like this. That's just an easier jump to make. I mean, frankly. Uh, other than that, we'll be back here again later. I could have just done that the whole time. I could have just Kazooie jumped. Ah, oh, what the dick. Okay, which one of these has notes? This one does. I'm gonna get chomped. Ooh, okay, I didn't get chomped. I just got flinged. Get in there. Hey, you landed on the spikes, but you didn't get nommed. That is fantastic. Hey, what is in this one? Eggs? Oh, feathers. Fuck feathers. Just like I fuck eggs. Fuck. Okay, someone can explain something to me. That'd be fantastic. Which is, in like Spongebob, for instance, like Spongebob, or no, Squid... What's Squidward's nemesis's name? Nemesis's nemesis? I don't know, whatever the word for that would be. Whatever, what is his name, and also, why does he say, like, your grandmother sucks eggs? Is that just, like, Spongebob, like, the Spongebob show's term for, um, like, being horrible or something? Like, I've never understood where that term came from. To this day, as essentially an adult, I still do not follow where that came from. And maybe that's just me being dense. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. I, I can't even spell genius, for goodness sake. And there's two tokens in there, uh, definitely worth picking up. You will, that's, yeah, you will need those. However, if anyone actually, like, has a legit answer to that and could inform me as to what, like, the origins are or something, that is the underwater no-dance version of the Jiggy. Um, that would be, uh, fantabulous. Like, I've, <laughs> honestly, truly, I have wondered that for quite some time, never actually having an answer. Hey, you got me two honeycombs. Thank you very much, kind of crab. However, more important. Oh, damn it! I should have stayed up there because I needed to get. Oh, well, never mind. I have a shot jumpy pad right here. Uh, or no, I I'm too. Sh oh, there's another shot jump pad. Doesn't say I, there's a Jinju up there that I do not want to forget. So make that jump. There we go. Okay, let's go get ourselves an orange Jinjo, eh? Oh, son of a! That's fitting, frankly. I'm not normally that bad at platformers like this. But considering I cursed Josh Jepsen into falling off the ledge there what, during the Lucathon, I suppose it's fitting that I also fall off the ledge there. Don't get used to it, though, Josh Jepsen. That is not how this is gonna go down. I'm going to play this game much better than that normally. Man, okay, that was... That was an unfortunate turn of events that I was not expecting. This is the Green Cave edition of the Jiggy Dance. Okay. Well, now we just have to make our way all the way back around the mountain. Because he'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. 
He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming around the mountain with Kazooie in a backpack. He'll be coming around the mountain when he... Why are we underwater? Okay, well, we're underwater because B Banjo couldn't surface. Stop getting eaten by the shark, would you? Thank you. Uh, basically, we sunk and we came out underneath the box. So Banjo couldn't surface, so it automatically put us into swim mode. Uh, if you were wondering why we were actually swimming there, that is the reason. Those, uh, that B box that I just passed, by the way, that has, uh, three honeycomb pieces in it. I just can't be bothered to break it at the moment. So, it can just, it can, it can stay not broken today. See, that was what I was trying to do last time. I just sucked at it. And there should be a mumbo token down here in the bottom, I believe. Yeah, there is. Fantastic. Eekum bokum. We still have eight lives, though. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, okay, if you're gonna put yourself right there, I guess I'll break you into into honey for me for me and myself to consume. Uh, other than that, here is the next little X. X does mark the spot, after all. So if we hammer the X, we will find our way to the next location. Which, what is down here in this box? So that is just eggs. I knew one of them had eggs in it. I just couldn't remember which one. Before we go and hammer the next X, though, there's a whole bunch of notes... Basically, if you treat this level like a circle, you can essentially... I almost fell off the edge of that. That was dumb. You can essentially get all the notes and everything all in a circle order. I mean, it's not its not that confusing of a level. It's just managing to get everything is the, is the trick. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget those notes on the trees. When I have to come back and do that damn hippo shit, I will get them then. Uh, other than that, let's get those three. There we go. And there should be one more. And if I take off here... You, you can see it from here. Yeah, it's right over there. Those notes that I said I'd come back for? Yeah, we're coming. We're coming right now. Is that what she said? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'd actually say we. But, well, <laughs> three-way. I mean, what? No. No, I didn't say that. This is a family-friendly family friendly show. Yeah, that's, that's what this is. Okay, so this time, ha, you'll never find me now. This tricked me as a kid. I went around the entire level searching, when in reality, it's right down here. It's like, what the heck? Uh, die, crab, die, X. Oh, come on. You know what, I'll just... It's, he said open him gently? Uh, yeah, that... That is not gonna happen. Die. And he explodes into... into little pieces of wood. All the more he deserves. Okay, there's a mumbo token back here as well. They just hide them all over in this level, just everywhere, behind everything, inside of things, etc. The good news is we have eight, we have eight of them now, so we're just about set. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go take care of Leaky. And over here, there's going to be a little tr cave, and this is actually a really important cave in the game. Well, it's not a cave; it's a castle, I should say. And this castle is important because this is where you enter all the cheat codes that you get in the game. However, you need to worry about this. Me, Leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? So another thing as a kid, this took me forever to figure out what the hell a pebble is. Well, you have to have Kazooie fart some eggs into this guy. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Fantastic. Thank you, Leaky. And there was a mine. Those mines home, by the way. But there was a mine on top, but we drained the water, so the mine exploded, of course. And if we... Jump and fly straight out. There's five notes on top of here. These notes are also easy to forget, especially if you know what you're doing. And uh, just go and immediately drain the water without us jumping into the water while it's up and swimming in it. There's also two notes on each side of the entrance here. That's not something you want to forget. This is turning into more of a walkthrough than a let's play. I'm sorry. So on the wall here, it says Banjo Kazooie. We might, might not make much of that, but we have a black guy in a prison cell over there. Uh, how fitting. How racist. So, if we basically go and ground pound all the letters, ban Joe. There's Banjo. Now we gotta find the K, which should be down here, right? Yeah. Kazooie. And you can only use each letter once. See, there's an A right here, but I already used it. So, there's another A right up here that you need to use. And then Z. Z is, yeah, right over here. I thought so. And which order you use the letters? Like, I use that O first, and I'm gonna use this O second. Or isn't it right here? Oh, it's all the way down here. I'm gonna use this O second. I could have done them in alternate orders, and as long as it still spells Kazooie, then then you're fine, don't worry. But we're gonna let out this black guy, and in true black guy form, he's going to come attack us. If 
But first, I'll cut you down to size. He also rhymes like Gruntilda. Okay, would you just come over here, black guy with red underneath? Um, there. There's one. And there's two. Turn into honey. And, oh, we have to actually jump. For some reason, I was thinking of a wall jump there. This is the inside the castle edition, or inside the prison edition of the Jiggy Dance. But we're going to not follow the arrows, and we're going get to get the hell out of there. I mean, seriously. So, there should only be two places left. Um, the first of which, well, okay, three, I lied. The first of which is this, this blubbering idiot. <laughs> See what I did there? Blubbering idiot. <laughs> Ahoy there, I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when my ship crashed. Okay, see what I did now with Blubbering Idiot? Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. Okay, so basically you need to get inside a ship here. The first, the first of which entrance is right there. And down here, not only is there notes, however, there's bars of gold. Now, if Kazooie and Banjo had any sense, they would just steal these bars of gold, turn them into jiggies, and put them in puzzle pieces, and or just buy off Gruntilda. However, unfortunately, they have a sense of morality, and return it to return it to Blubber Guts over there, who probably doesn't do anything good with it. He probably buys a whole bunch of hentai, uh, some porn, a couple hookers, maybe an Xbox 360 and Banjo Kazooie, maybe Banjo Tooie. Okay, so as you can see, when we when you get close to him, you bring out the gold. The other entrance is right here. You need to break through the hole in the ship. And second verse, same as the first, um, except there's a mumbo token here as well. Um, but there's four notes, and there is gold. So I mean, yeah, this is pretty much the exact same thing, just on the opposite side. Now, if you would go ahead and surface, please, so I can get the. Come on, you literally just went right out mumbo token. Eekum bokum, thank you. Okay, now let's get the heck out of Dodge. How many times have I said that this episode? Sorry, I'm just, oh no, don't fall in. I'm just repeating the same phrases for which I, come on, thank you. Okay, let's go again. How about you, can you throw it, please? Thank you, okay, fantastic. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. So, we get you a whole bunch of gold, and you leave us a little gold in the shape of a jigsaw piece behind. This is the half boat, half, uh, half uh, what the hell was that? Half boat, half pole edition of of the Jiggy Dance. Why, why did, why did the Jiggy Dance get additions all of a sudden? Like, I don't even know. Whatever. So the the second to last area, uh, the last area on the Nintendo 64. Well, the last one that matters on the N64 is this cave, and we could just fly fly straight up basically this is going to go up to the mountaintop however you would f you would miss that one note there um there's nothing on these trees of note other than this tree way out here on this little ledge that has your fifth well in my case fifth and final jinjo also um you've been awarded the gamer pit lucky you okay sure i'll take that either way essentially um what i was trying to say was it's cool that kazooie held on to the Jiggy and waited for the Jinjo to do his dance so Kazooie could do her dance. Also, that was the a tree on a mountain, a tree on a mountain edition of the Jiggy dance. So you might be fooled going to that door, but don't miss don't miss the bitch switch back here, which is going to shoot gold out of a cannon. I mean, I guess that's for your really rich, really 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 rich pirates who just want to like insult their enemies as they kill them. Um, I guess that's what that's for. Oh, yeah, there's a shot jump pad back here. How about you don't forget that? And you might be wondering, where are those final eight notes? Well, you remember those... Sorry, I had to pause for that song. That's like the coolest song. Um, you remember those notes that I said I wasn't going to forget earlier? Uh, yeah, I totally forgot them. So, we are going to go get those right now. They are... Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Oh, holy god. I'm lucky I didn't die there. That was... That was weird. Okay, so they're basically on... Why do I keep saying, okay, so, and basically? I must be pissing you guys the hell off, because I'm starting to piss myself off just by saying that. There's four notes on each of these trees here. Four notes, each tree, two trees, eight notes, hundred notes, victory. That's all. <laughs> that should be my commentary from now on. It's like, bear, bird, three hits, two eyeballs, pet, victory. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be horrible. Okay, and I do believe I'm missing one 
honeycomb, empty honeycomb piece. Uh, but you know, I can't remember for the life of me where it is. Well, let's see, let's view totals. Mm, yeah, I'm missing one empty honeycomb piece, and this is 19 minutes? Man, that was a waste of time. I definitely could have done that in 15, at, and probably even shorter than 15. I apologize for the, for the waste of time. Uh, I need a, fl a fly pad. There's gonna be a fly pad over here. Oh, oh, these crabs. They steal your stuff in addition to doing damage. Those bitch tits. Okay, where is this final... I'm just trying to think, because I know where they all are. Oh, I know where it is. Okay. So the final... The final empty honeycomb piece. It's in one of these corners. Underwater. I don't think it's that one. No, it's not. Um, so we just gotta basically look around until we find the damn thing. I think it's actually, I think it is around here somewhere, around this side. Maybe down in this corner? Uh, let's get some, let's get a better angle on it. It's not supposed to go at an angle! Uh, no, it's not down there. Where is it? I know you're around here somewhere. Are you... Uh... Oh, are you in this corner? Yes, you are. I bet you are. Yeah, you are. You little bitch. You thought you could hide from me. Well, sna oh no, Snacker's gonna come snack me. That's not good. Uh, you better not snack me again, Snacker. Yes, please, fly. Swim away. Swim away from the summoner. Oh, man, okay, that was... That was stupidly close of me. And it still could be stupidly close. Phew. Okay. God. These things need to stay away from me. Um... There's a fly pad right over there. There's one last thing that we need to do in this video. And I know we're pushing 20 minutes here, I am sorry. Um, but we're just, I figure we can fit this episode, or this, we can fit this episode in one land. We can fit this world in one episode, so we might as well. Um, so this is something that exists in Banjo-Kazooie, however it's a completely optional thing. And it is a shark tooth cave, I believe it's called. Yep, so that music is the sign of, like, a bonus area, or something that's, like, optional, or, like, super secret or whatever. So essentially, if you just fly from hole to hole to hole, um, at the very top, there is a, a secret for us to get. And don't worry, this won't take long, this will only take another ten seconds or so. We're almost at the end. Uh, really? I thought, I thought it was only... Okay, god, this is taking longer than I thought, I'm sorry. Um, oh, there we go. And from here, we can just do the backwards jumpy thing. Normally, there's a pink egg up here. Why isn't it here? View totals. Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, okay. Somehow, it thinks we got the, the pink egg already. That's odd, because I definitely did not get the pink egg on this file. Maybe it's like on a per console thing instead of like, because I got it on my other file. That must be it. I, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, normally there's a pink egg up there, and it's a stop and swap egg. So initially, back when they were planning Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, um, the idea was that in Banjo in Banjo Tooie, you would actually there would be points where you would take out your Banjo Tooie cartridge while it is running, and put in Banjo Kazooie, and if you had those eggs, you'd unlock stuff in Banjo Tooie. However, Nintendo basically came to Rare and said, "Uh, no." There is no way in hell you are doing that. So Rare was like, okay, fine, I guess we won't do it then. It basically would have erased, most, li most likely, oh, no, don't hit me. I will smush you, thank you, smush you into honey. Um, it would have erased your save data, most likely, if, if you did do that. So while it was a cool idea, it was never truly realized until it was ported to 360. And I'm not exactly, exactly sure how it works. This is the Sandy Boat Gruntilda's Lair edition of the Jiggy Dance. Either way, that story's done. So next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I know at the end of the first episode I said, Let's Play... Uh, thanks guys for watching Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And then I criticized myself for saying Tooie. And then I said it again! Ah, oh, I can't believe that. Either way, next time we will progress through the note door, which is up there, probably. And we also go in this little hole and see what's there and the hole back here. We'll just, we'll just do a whole bunch of stuff next time. Okay, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a good day.